So Rabbi Jacobson shares this insight into exactly these spiritual laws which he learned from the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And I'll try to keep this tight because we have a lot to cover and it's a little bit mystical, but I think when you hear it, you'll, you'll agree that it's self-evidently true. So he explains that there are two forces which allow for the animation of the physical body by the soul. And these forces allow for these two seemingly antithetically opposite elements Right, the divine soul, which is a piece of God himself, so to say, and the body, which is made of dirt. So these forces allow for the harmonious coexistence of these opposite forces to inhabit the body at the very same time. And these two forces within the soul are called ratso veshov. Ratso veshov. Ratso, coming from the idea of like rats, of striving, of seeking, of yearning. And shov is the opposite, right? The, the return, the grounding, the settling. It's sort of like, um, what's the word? It's like a pulsating up and down. It's going up. It's like, um, you know, it, it's almost like uh, the idea uh, to me is of breathing, right? Inhaling and exhaling. That force of ratso is the part of the soul that is always striving higher, that is seeking to connect to the creator and is constantly yearning to merge with Hashem. It's constantly pulled upwards like a magnetic force. And the shove is the force that wants to stay alive in this world, to actualize the potential that's acquired right after the Ratso brings us higher and closer to Hashem. We bring that back down and we can uh, actualize it. It wants to stay in the body and to elevate the body. So if you followed what I described here, and I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, but if you did, it could forever change the way that you read the verse in Proverbs that begins with the words, Ner Hashem Nishmat Adam. Right? What does that mean? Ner Hashem Nishmat Adam. The candle of God is the soul of man. So visualize a, a candle, right? The wick, as long as it remains lit, it's like locked in this, in, in this dance, right? On the one hand, it's striving upwards as it, it's like drawn to the source above, while at the same time, at the time, it's flickering down as well. It's cleaving to the wick for dear life and drinking the oil that sustains its very existence, uh, that allows it to exist as a differentiated, unique flame. And it's the tension between those two impulses to ascend yet to exist. It's the tension between the Ratso and the Shov that produces that light. And so that's the same with the soul of man. The yearning to ascend and come close to God, but at the same time to remain connected to the body, to remain alive, uh, to remain alive, that's, that's the balance. And at that moment of nuclear spiritual forces at play, the ratso within the souls of Nadav and Avihu, the part of them which so yearn to transcend and cleave to Hashem and cleave to their maker, that yearning of their ratso was so great that they just, they just gave into it. And by surrendering to that impulse, it created an imbalance. And the Ratso simply overpowered their shove. And their souls were literally just pulled like up and out, out of their bodies, like, like the flame of a candle that's being sucked up and extinguished by a vacuum. As the masks are coming off and much of the world is turning not only against Israel, but yes, against the Jewish people. If you feel different, if your love for Israel is growing deeper, and stronger, if you're thirsting to cleave to the nation of Israel and to the God of Israel, if you're thirsting to learn authentic Torah from Jews in Judea, then the Land of Israel Fellowship is for you. Hundreds of individuals and families from around the world come together on Zoom every week in what can only be described as a fellowship of love, friendship, of learning and praying and belonging. A fellowship really unlike any other. It's more than just a movement, it's a family. To learn more about the Land of Israel Fellowship, click on www.thelandofisrael.com backslash fellowship or send an email to fellowship at thelandofisrael.com. Love and blessings from Judea.